Aaron said no pre-workout today, so I fucking mutilated his body. I got his arm here, got his legs and all his body parts on the seat next to me. So let's get mutilation. <laughs> 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 Hello there guys, welcome back to another one with us to review Rose. My name's Aaron. My name's Craig. And today we're going for a new pre-workout. It's not been around for that long. People are excited about it. It's got a different packaging to normal, stands out in my personal opinion, and it comes in the form of this one. Mutilation by Mutagenic Labs, and like Aaron said, it's like a shiny Pokemon card. Absolutely, and you've got to catch them all guys, especially when it concerns pre-workouts. But before you do that, do check this review for the usuals, the taste, the price, label and most importantly, the effects in the gym. And if you're new here, subscribe, tick the bell icon, like the video, drop down your thoughts on this product. Does mean a lot, guys. Let's not keep you waiting. In we go. Into the taste and the mixability, arguably the least important part of this reality of the world, but we get through it anyway, especially where there's so much choice on the market. And it's a nice, healthy 20 gram serving size. Three days later. And what we have discovered is guys, as we always say, no matter how big the brand is, always do weigh your scoops out where it concerns pre-workout, simply because this one, I reckon a lot of people have been heaping this one where it needs actually just under a flat scoop to get you that serving size. And you don't really want to go too much when it's considered a hardcore pre-workout. Orange mango is the flavor. If we, and it comes in any under flavors, we will put them in the description below and we'll flash it up in text. Okay, now. <laughs> <laughs> so the two scoops are into the individual containers. It's one scoop per each one before I confuse anyone out there. Let's give this a shake. <laughs> no like frothing. Mixability. <laughs> look at that, zero froth really. Mixability, it's gonna be hard to show you guys. We are oh, having to revert back to a car review. I'll try and zoom that in with the light, I don't know if it'll work. It actually looks pretty good, doesn't it? Mm, oh, yeah. Honestly, it does. Genuinely good, you have to take our word for it, unfortunately. It's a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, but really good. Mm. Whoa, <laughs> I'm a the mirror. Action. I don't get the pop. Yeah. <laughs> Mango orange going down. Our Let's... favorite. Yeah, it's not nice, is it? Like, got to call the spade a spade. Mm, or a shovel a shovel, if um, you will. We've never, ever been mango fans in a pre-workout. And this is a very serene, natural taste in mango, but this is not that. Mm. It's also got a slightly like, um, I don't know, like Sliveriness a, to it. Yeah, it's going to sound disgusting, and it's definitely not intended to be as disgusting as it sounds. But it's got like a slightly slimy ch texture to it, almost like like a glycerol chalky sort of taste to it. Mm, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's not as dramatic as saying the word slimy. You're, <laughs> you guys are going to be thinking all sorts. Nickelodeon but, slime. <laughs> yeah, it's not that bad. It's just got a. It's not a completely water like normal pre-workout like taste yeah texture mm. i've got a score in mind do you yeah yeah three two one four, four out, out of ten, ten. perfect yeah. just below average like it's doable it's just not enjoyable really for us yeah but very important nearly forgot mutilation mutagenic labs have actually spoke to us and they've said that they're pretty much redoing the flavor altogether, plus coming out with another flavor. So I'm very sure that, you know, if you follow our Instagram, do so. When we get hold of a new, the new flavor, we'll do an honest live scoring. Mm. But yeah, I think um, I think even these ones have been phased out as we, as we speak. So um, hopefully improved things. Are we gonna get banging effects from that flavor action or not? Let's see.
We're talking price time, guys. And if you want to pick it up, you'll head over to mutageniclabs.com where you'll find this tub using our discount code RB10 for £31.50. Take it away. The exciting news is that code works on anything at Mutagenic Labs and they do some really different products. Mm. Put it that way. <laughs> Alrighty then. Anywho, <laughs> 30 <laughs> servings a container. And that's not a joke. We had to reread that because we thought it'd be a 20, 40 thing, but it's not, it's 30 real servings. A real boy! Pound and 5p. I'll say that again into the mic. A pound and 5p. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a very, very good price score. In fact, it scores a solid seven out of 10 on the consistent scale that stays consistent amongst products from across the universe. So yeah, guys, a lot cheaper than average. And you get a lot more. Stay tuned for effects, bitches. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> You know what time it is. It be that label. What is this pre-workout packing? And I can only assume at one pound and five p, it's going to pack next to nothing, surely, right, Craig? Yeah, it should be a short label, two or three ingredients, right? Yeah, right. Right, babe. Right, twenty grams <laughs> serving. We got first like l citrulline, four grams. A respectable dose, you know. That is still the clinical dose for the nitric oxide performance, giving you that pump and blood flow. Nice beta anilin, three grams. Nice for the beta tingle. The itchy, tingly feeling as the pre-workout kicks in, but obviously, once you've built it up in the system, it's going to help you with endurance. Nice. Betaine and hydrus, three grams again. Nice. Above the clinical. Normally, only see that at two and a half. It's a jack of all trades. Pumps, endurance, strength output, hydration, everything. Oh, yeah. Then we've got glycerol, 2.5 grams. I love to see that. That's going to help with the pumps. It's going to bring in the... New the moisture, the <laughs> nutrients, the blood into the muscle cell. Nice. Then we've got propionyl L-carnitine at 1,500 milligrams, and we've got N-acetyl-L-carnitine at a gram. Nice. Two versions of carnitine. Obviously, that's a fat burner. In turn, it gives you some stimulation, some energy from the metabolized fat cells within the body. And we have actually noticed this anecdotally, maybe, but you do get a sense of highness and euphoria from it as well. We're yeah. hoping for that for this. Nootropic side kick attack then we've got uh, l taurine at a gram hydration and pumps bit of nootropic aid a gram's a good dose guys astragulus 10 to 1 500 milligrams basically a health superfood it's a jack of all trade ingredient antioxidant anti-inflammatory properties digestive aid it's been shown to help with a whole multitude of health conditions and it's really interesting to see it in a pre-workout. We don't often see it, in fact, not labelled like this as such. No. Right, then we have got N-acetyl tyrosine, 500 milligrams. A little bit lower than we would have liked, but you know what? It's still going to do the trick when we com combine it with other nootropic elements. It's the amino acid responsible for clarity, concentration and coordination. Next up, grapeseed extract, 500 milligrams. Which is, again, another nice health ingredient. It's been shown to potent up some of the ingredients in this blend. Um, and help with blood flow, heart health, and general bodily function. Nice. Then we got cola nut extract, 400 milligrams. Which is a respectable dose, guys. It's a potent stimulant. Um, obviously, it has been shown to have some DMHA-style-like feels to it. And that's, again, what we're going to hope for from the effects. How about that, then? Then we got caffeine and hydrous, 300 milligrams. Which is a respectable dose, guys. Obviously, about average but a good amount. You know, it's going to give you that stimulation and energy drive in the gym. Yeah, then we've got L-Norvaline, 200 milligrams. Blood flow. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. It's going to time with the L-Citrulline, right? Mm. Then we've got um, L-Theanine, 200 milligrams. Smooths down the stimulants that can come a bit harsh. Um, it's kind of a blanket to that. It kind of rifles you in, sets up the scope, and may, makes you able to use that energy for a long period of time, hopefully. Yeah, some of you may frown at that and go, oh my God, that dose is too close to the caffeine. Well, all I can say is take the pre and then tell me what you think. Then we move down to Willy Bark Extract at 150 milligrams. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a fat burner. Again, similar to the L-carnitine, has been shown to have some potent um, effects in terms of the fat burning, but also some energy. Must be barking mad. Then we got hordenine at 100 milligrams. Nice, very nice dose. Fat burning element, but it also has been shown to improve some of the neurotransmitting 
ingredients, should I say, in the brain, <laughs> um, give you some dopamine benefits, some some highness and euphoria, and hopefully some good mood elevation. We've got some interesting ingredients in here. Then we've got Panax ginseng at uh, 100 milligrams. Again, another healthy ingredient, antioxidant, anti anti inflammatory ingredient. Yep. Then we've got vitamin C. 90 milligrams, pretty much self-explanatory, you know, vitamin C is vitamin C in it. Then we've got Mucana Purians extract, 70 milligrams. Been shown to be very similar to the Panax ginseng in, in its health benefits, um, just helping the body produce naturally. Nice, bit of focus and anti-stress action with that as well. <laughs> then we've got Grains of Paradise at 50 megs. <laughs> Another nice little fat burner to work with a willow. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm all over the place in this one. The pre be kicking in. But yeah, fat burning elements, highness elements. Let's hope this comes together very nicely. Nice. And then just when you're getting relaxed, we got nice in uh, 32 milligrams, very specifically. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to give you that flushing feeling, almost like beta alanine does. Um, but yeah, nice to see it. You'll be flushing the toilet after. <laughs> then we're wrapping off with bioparine at 10 milligrams. Again, digesting, getting all these ingredients into the system as efficiently as your body will allow a very nice wrap off to any pre-workout label. Nice. What do you think about that label then, guys? I'd say that's quite an interesting one. Yes, yeah, stacked in all areas. And I tell you what, I'm feeling it already. That's why I'm all over the place. Let's go. <laughs> oh, that was, dude, that was that funny, was yeah. <laughs> Effects time. Mutilation by Mutagenic Labs, and we're going to get into the usuals, guys. Hopefully, experiencing some focus, energy, and pump. Now, let's start off at the beginning with the beta alanine. Did you really feel that or not? It came into a medium degree for me personally. Would you agree? I would. I would personally, honestly, say a low degree. Mm. Out of ten, the threes, fours, and I do. I, I think you know reason why. There's so much in the label going through your system. The beta alanine, unfortunately, just sits in the back. Yeah, a lot else takes over, and I think what really takes over is, I'll be honest, I'll be 100% honest, as, as we always are, a strange sense of energy. And, and what I mean by that is if you look back at the label, it gives you, uh, I want to say, like a, a spaced out, laughy, funny mood mm. elevating. <laughs> yeah, like you take things oh, like, less seriously, like your inhibitions are lowered. Almost like you've had a few drinks, you're like, hey, woo, hey. Yeah, it's, um, it's strange. I'll be honest, it's strange. It kind of doesn't put you in a pre-workout sense to start off with at the very mm. least. It kind of spaces you out, makes you feel a bit, I don't know, not it necessarily feel, high. Yeah, more like a happy, vibey, socially kind of like floaty almost feeling. Mm, yeah, like you lose focus to start off with whilst the pre kicks in. And I would say that really sort of deteriorated once you actually start training. Mm. And then it gets you in the zone. And this is not just once. I've used this four times now and mm. I've had the same experience each and every time. I'm not sure if it's, I think it's the mixture of all those fat burners. It is. The grains of paradise, the hordenine, the willow bark, the L-carnitines in two. I really think that makes you it makes you feel funny. Your body's like, oh my God, what's, what's all these ingredients coming into me? I don't know how to respond. Yeah, definitely not in a negative way, but I wouldn't, no. I also wouldn't, I'll be honest, I wouldn't say a positive way either. It kind of spaces you out a bit yeah, in just, a weird way. Yeah, it's just an experience. Let's just call it that. But the reason the focus goes from being non-focusy and funny to focused once you start training is because of the pumps and the mind to muscle connection, which is really nice, right? I would argue that's probably the strongest mm. element of the pre-workout, I would say no. the pumps are savagely good. You feel, it feels like you've taken a stim pre-workout with a pump mm. formula on top. Really good pumps. Pumps for me are the take home benefit from this product. Yeah. With the focus and the energy being good. Yeah, I would say pumps, mood, focus, and then energy just behind that. Yeah, it really is a nice product to use. Energy, I'd probably give that like a seven out of 10. It's not, it's not extreme mm. strong. No heart jitters. No negatives, no highness, no euphoria, as in from a highness benefit. I would mm. say you do get a bit of mood elevation, as mentioned from the beginning. But um, yeah, energy, probably like a seven out probably of 10. Probably because of that L-theanine as well. It's kind of like... Yeah. Focus, probably again a seven out of 10. It, it, it's a strange one. It swings. It's like no focus at the beginning 
to focus at the end. It kind yeah. of finally tunnels in. Pump's probably like at least a nine out of 10, maybe even more. Yeah, definitely. So there's no real negatives to it. And other than that initial sort of like, whoa, what's going on here feeling? But then once you get moving and training, you know, you, everything really does start to come together. And it's a really enjoyable pre-workout. It's very unique. There's not one that I could say, oh, this feels like that. No. It really is its own thing. No negatives, no nausea, no digestive issues, no appetite suppression. I could eat a meal now and I, yep. I, I've eaten meals each time I've used this. Um, I, I like this pre-workout. I do like this pre-workout a lot. Um, Here's an interesting thing. Go on. Would you say it's a daily driver or a high stim because you get that sort of floaty, focusy, moody feeling, but then it's daily driver pumps and training feels. Yeah, it's a tough one. Is it straddling that line? It is straddling the line between daily driver and stim junkies. It's not the strongest pre-workout out there by any stretch, but it's probably stronger than a daily driver. Mm, yeah, it's in that in-between. It area. really is in that no man's land mm, yeah. era. Of... So if you don't want to take a low stim daily driver, but you also don't want to blow your head off, this will be a nice happy medium. Yeah, solid pre-workout. What do we what do we think out of 10 for an overall experience from the effects element? We're gonna give it an 8.5 out of 10 on the points mentioned really. So, <laughs> you know, pumps, focus slash mood, energy, no real negatives. Yeah, no real negatives. Very good in all areas. Not um, for beginners? No, I'd say it's too strong for beginners. Mm. Intermediates that have used a lot of pre-workouts, good. Stim junkies. I would say give it a shot. Yeah, if you like the more moody, funny ones rather than the high energy, high heart rate ones. Let me just cut to something important because just for anyone that skips over the bit about the taste and the mixability, do weigh your scoop. Because yeah. it needs under a flat scoop to even get the serving size. And I guarantee people just go, and yeah. it's 26, 27, well we did it. It was yeah. 26 or yeah, 27 it comes grams in with a heap. well over. Yeah, which would be freaking stim junky. It would probably make you, you know, it wouldn't feel very nice if you went and stacked a big one in no. there. Because it's been formulated to be good at 20 grams. And that is key. So, yeah, it scores a solid 8.5 today. Um, pumps, it's key, other key. And it's, it's just a, a nice feeling, a spaced out feeling to a degree. But at the same time, you still kill training. Yeah. So, How many times a week would you be happy to use it, just quickly? Three, four? Yeah, yeah. There we go, guys. Appreciate you watching. A big thank you to Mutagenic Labs for sending this down. We do have their pump liquid that we're going to get reviewed as soon as we can. Swollogenic. Yeah, we do have a big, big backlog, like a year, a year long, like honestly, just pre-workouts, let Genuinely. alone as if we was to touch other sort of supplementational roots. Yeah, so at this point we say, guys, as always, stay stimmed mutilation style. Cheers, guys. <laughs>